By the way, this is episode 28, I think, of my ongoing survival series, Hitra, and I'm Evernoob. Man, I need to work on introductions, but in doing all that, right over there, that guy, I have gotten him distracted. Yeah, because I came all the way down here and had absolutely, basically came here naked, and then when I got here, I realized, uh, my... What's it called? Ender chest over there. Had nothing in it. So I came down here, tried to... I did get all my stuff and ran back to... I don't know, somewhere in there. And then I accidentally spawned another warden and it was games he's over. But the reason I have got that warden distracted is I've been clearing out this, and there's a chest right there. I just want to do a double check, but I'm pretty sure that I've gotten them all out of here. I've spawned, I spawned, I think, two extra ones. Sorry, the music was getting me. Yeah, I spawned two extra, then I died again. I forgot to set my spawn with a bed over here, so I've got it set right there. It's kind of a dangerous move, but yeah, I figured that way I can at least get my stuff and whatever, but I wanted to check this chest, and then I think there's there's still the chest on the other side of this that I initially spawned wardens in, ran away, and that's when I flew over there and died like a pafool, but let's check this guy. Is ward armor the one I've been looking for? I think it might be. Oh man. That means I'm gonna have to leave some of this stuff behind. Well, let's figure out what we do and don't need here. I was gonna start off here exploring more, looking at more chests, but I really don't want to lose this. I've got him pacified there. The problem is the way out is somewhere on this wall. I think I'm just gonna head out of here. Because I don't know where all the shriekers are and I need to try to find my way home. Look at that right there. Terrible. But I mainly just wanted to get my stuff back to start this episode and then move on. Which, if I'm lucky, yeah, I've really only seen this corner. So that was really some good luck, I think. And I think I got all the shriekers out of here, so. And, yes, okay. I, st I am kind of curious what's down there. It's a cool little, oh, thing. Oh, and it keeps going back there. Well, I don't want to mess around too much. Oh my gosh, I summoned one. That's why I don't want to mess around too much. I think, was that two of them I just flew past? Yeah, I summoned one on my way there. Yep, that's why I think we's done with the goofs. Okay. Well... It's time to pack up and I think head back home. Well, it's been a while since that last clip and I've kind of been hitting a roadblock of what to do for the rest of this episode. So I've just been kind of cleaning up a lot of little maintenance, moving stuff around, prepping for the next update. But I came up here and I realized I missed all my scoots because all the turtles had grown up. So I've since Re, uh, rebred them, got them to lay some eggs, but I decided rather than sitting here wondering what to do, I'm going to go back and try to get gutter for the rest of this episode. I'm going to learn the ways of the ancient city. Come on. Oh, yeah. I've also started working on this. This is like a redesign of the honey, honey, slime, and Amethyst shop to bring up goods from downstairs. Are any of these empty? That one is. I'll take that. 
Now we're all prepped up to go, let's head on over and see if we can conquer the, the ancient city. Because I was reading online some tips and stuff, and a lot of people say just to go in, you know, no armor or anything. That way if you die, you don't really lose much. And now we are close. Just a matter of getting there. But yeah, I want to try to get actually somewhat better at this game since I'm playing a survival series. That seems like a semi-wise choice. As my name kind of indicates, I consider myself a noob all the time, though I'm probably half okay at the game, I would say, but... Po Night potions. That was the thing I was wanting. Ah. Oh. So worth it to go back and get some. I think so. So otherwise I'm just going to be a scary cat the whole time and it's going to take me twice as long. I know me. Okay. So we got Shrieker right there. And I'm pretty sure my warden is still in here. That I spawned last time, so let's get... No. We want this. Okay, if I... I think if I do this... Nope. Okay, so the respawn has set. I think these are the only two over here. Yes, I've done it. This is the one that I wasn't sure of last time. Oh, there's one under here. I'm an idiot. Up. Oh. Still don't know. Oh, those ones down there are going to be problems. Right. So that should do that one good. I'm wasting a lot of wool doing this, but I don't. I'm fine with it. Because, yeah, right over here, I should still have a warden who's obsessed with some lights I got going on. Or I, I've got a piston over here, I should say. Right over yonder here. Yeah, he's still there. I did a smart. So I'm fine with him just chilling over there being tamed. But now I can come back over here and actually look into these. This chest, hopefully. There we go. I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit. It's obviously not nearly as scary with when you got night vision going on. Oops. The only thing that's a little scary is that constant going off of things that the warden is setting off, but that's okay. And hopefully that's the last of the shriekers over here. So my plan with this ancient city is to basically... Okay, that was a good test because I just kind of forgot to hold shift there. Yeah, the plan is to basically... Try to get rid of all the shriekers, except right at the... Did I, did I get this one? Yeah, okay. The goal is basically just to loot all these chests, and whatever else I can get. Kind of trying to section this place off as I go. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, one at a time then. Okay, he didn't come up, that's good. I was kind of risking it there, but I was pretty sure I was okay, so... So yeah, this is kind of the pl plan. Embracing the slower pace. Just focusing on trying to do this correctly, so I, I learn a thing or twos. So yeah, I've really only cleared out a super tiny section of this, but... Kind of have everything set up to be at the ready on backup, so... Now it's just a matter of cl cleaning up this area as I've been, because I shouldn't have to worry about anything this way. 
And this was kind of the main area I wanted to focus on because this is where I come into the whole area. So I probably, I don't know if I'm going to stick around and get all the, the ores in this area. Mainly because I think, oh, mainly because I think that'll just take a little too long. Now, the next bit, wherever I go, I have not been. So I need to be a bit more cautious and not keep falling like I am right now. Now we gotta wander on. I did, I think I saw a shrieker at the top of this one. One of these pillars I did. At least I think. Yeah, right up there. I wonder if I pillar up and break it. Looks like the only thing up here. Let's go for it. Ha! Dang it. Part of that was good and part of it sucked. <laughs> and while I'm up here, I should also be looking for chests from up high. So I kind of know where to go next. Looks like maybe back in that area is a good one. Good spot to go look. Yeah, this actually isn't too hard. You just gotta kind of plan out where you're going more. And then work around the shriekers and everything else. Quite a bit is the other big part of it, it seems. Yeah, and then you want you really want to double check everything. See, the thing is, I don't know the layouts of these areas too well. Look at that right there, though. I'd break it, but I, not knowing what's above it is kind of the issue. So we'll just sneak right past. This is kind of the opposite side of where I spawn in. So okay, we've got a chest up there. One right over here. Which, I don't think there's actually too much around this one. Anything on this side as far as shriekers? No, this is a nice easy one. Hey, got my silk touch hole right there. Once I actually get into the clearing out portion, because I think this is going to be the ancient city, I'm going to turn more into a farm slash look around Z type thing. I'm just going to run back here because I'm pretty sure I'm clear for a bit. I've got too much stuff on me. Is that where I just was? Okay, yep, I've got way too much stuff on me. So we need to go back to... <gasps> I was going to say I'm in a bad place there. Okay, I kind of don't mind just flying around, but one thing I kind of want to do... Oh, another thing I should do is put that in there. That's one shulker box full. You know, the other reason I decided to uh, just focus on getting good at doing the end city A is not, not only just to get good, but also that last video was took so long to make and I ended up still kind of coming out unsatisfied with it, Main, mainly because I'm just, like, I think I said in the video, I'm not that talkative of a guy, so it's hard for me to, like, know what to focus on in it. An exploration video, and then editing down so many clips, it's just time-consuming. So just focusing on something nice and singular like this is kind of a nice break in the, uh, the format of trying to go over the top with building or whatever it may be in a given episode. Okay, now we're on to... I saw one over here. I think it's just beyond that. So right up a Rooney through here. I'm mainly looking for the silence arm. Ooh, okay. First, let's scout everything here. I'm going to go for it. Whoops. Ha! It worked. And still... No silence armor, which is the one I, I that I really need. Yeah, this really isn't that bad once you kind of get the hang of it. I wouldn't say I'm like an expert explorer or anything, but... Ooh, enchanted golden apple, there we go. 
And that is that shulker box full as well. Boy, that happens really quick in this. I probably should grab all the candles as well, but I'm not too big on it R right this exact second, so... 16 seconds. Starting to get a timing down for this as well with the drinking of the potions, but okay. I know I saw one shrieker over here, but I did see a chest. Mm-hmm. Now what's around you? I go like that, one there. So yeah, the key is really taking your time and being patient with an ancient city I'm noticing. Which isn't really my style, but I can learn. So I'm just going to kind of poke my head out where I can and see if I can see one anywhere. Looks like there might be one over in that area. Well, there's one right there for sure. The shrieker on top. Oh, there's one over here. Okay. Okay, there's a bunch of shriekers over here, so... Now, there we go. Just kind of thinks it out a bit more. And once you do, you can actually run around pretty freely, which is nice. Okay, so now we got to get over there. And where was this chest? I did see one over here somewhere, did I not? Was there not a chest over here? I thought for sure I saw one. Aha! Okay. Whole lot of soul torches. And now we're basically full up again. Okay, I only got one more potion of night vision, so this may be the final one. Provided, I was going to say, that didn't set any, off anything. So I know... Is there any of them below? I don't see anything. There's, we got a problem right there. Oh, if I step on these, they go too. So i got to be oops or doodle careful. Oh. Did I just get really lucky there and he didn't... Oh, I guess that was three. I think I just got really lucky there. I was getting ready to run away. Ha! I did. Oh. Hoping it was silence. That's okay, though. I think that's another area there, so I'm going to try to sneak over there and see. So we'll just pillar up and over here. Uh huh. Shrieker around this thing anywhere? Nope. Ooh, another enchanted apple. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Let's live dangerously. Uh-oh. I don't know where he... I don't know where I am. I thought I was in a di completely different part of the map. Luckily, he's pretty far away, but... I really don't know where I am. So I don't know how to lead him back to... where I would want him to be. Oh boy. That was stupid. Alright, we gotta... Oh my gosh. I need to get out of here. <gasps> okay, so now I have two wardens. I don't know where they are. I don't know where I am. Okay, he's over there. And this one went away. I think that's where I need to try to get to. Yes. 
I don't really care if he smells me now. Don't mind me, buddy. You just stay looking at your toy. Okay, another one went away. Okay. So that last area had a lot of shriekers, and I'm wondering if that's a sign that there's a whole lot of, uh, or that's where the good armor's at. Let's run right by this guy, because he don't mind me, none. Him's a good, he, him's a good one. Hey, cat. I think we might be okay now, because nothing went off when I did that one. Ah! Uh. See you later. Lost a regen potion, but that's okay. Oh no. We need to get everything in here. Everything that's important. Shears, I can lose shears. Maybe I can out outwit him. Probably shouldn't have just taken off my wings there. Apparently I pulled him off of the the trap door thing. Okay. Okay. Well, the game crashed. And I'm trying to figure out where I left off. That guy's back over there now, though. And I had another night vo vision potion, which I'm pretty sure I ran out of. So... I'm not actually sure how far along I am in this. I'm just trying to parse out what can go and what, and I'll probably leave this area. I don't know if it's too much for me old computer to take. And I have all my armor on. I took that off at some point, so I'm trying to figure out where I kind of left off. What I'm going to do is do a quick fly over here. Okay. See it right there. This is the big one I was starting to do. But I doubt the loot's reset, so I'm guessing it's probably the same as it was. If I remember right, yeah, there's one right there. There he is right there, okay. So we're gonna fly down here. We're just going to kind of quietly move away. Because I don't think he's going to follow. Problem is, last time, this guy right here became bored with that thing and started hunting us too. So I was going to ask if the aggro applies to both of them. Hopefully he's just shooting at bats. See, I can't tell right now if he's actually coming at me too. Just making my way back to my area and trying to keep an eye on him. Okay, I think we're okay. One thing I haven't done is try to figure out the puzzle to get inside the middle. I want to check out... I'm... I think I wandered into this redstone area and the other one up by accident. What's my... Two minutes, okay. I need enough to get back, so I've actually checked out this like redstone area in here. We're definitely gonna want to come loot all this as well. So what are they trying to show with these contraptions? So we've got a comparator taking a signal off this thing here, which can't hear me because if I go like this. That'll 
invert this signal, which will turn on these. And, and then, okay, this is like the puzzle, I think. Okay, so that's how that works. Just kind of checking out the area while I'm over here. Need to be, uh oh. I'm just going to run because I'm pretty sure this is all cleared out. Back to my safe area. Okay, I think I'm good to head on home. Got a little bit more experience with the ancient city. Not too bad. It sucks that my computer crashed in the middle of that because I was in the middle of him hunting me and I was trying to f actually focus on figuring out how to, you know, evade a warden properly. Because I figured this was going to be eventually the spot where I'm going to pull a warden for my, for my zoo. Because, yeah, look at He's still stunned by that thing over there, I'm guessing. I just can't really get too close to him, but... Yeah, he loves his little toy. Okay. Yeah, need more night vision potions to really conquer this thing. I need my computer not to crash. That was terrible. But yeah, much like everything in Minecraft, you do a little bit more each time. Get just a tad bit better at it. Well, I think I, I didn't die as much at my first ancient city. I don't really think I did as much either. I basically... I did it all off camera, but I took probably like four hours just crouching like this. Encoding things in wool. Just getting used to the... Getting used to discomfort, I think, is key. And actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I can clear out that whole ancient city because... Somewhere, yeah, there's a shrieker right there. I can make that my warden spawner, since that's the closest one to my my way home here. I have to get him to chase me all the way up this portal, to this portal up here, but that is fine, fine, fine. Now we just need to make our way home and unload all this stuff. Did I find two wards? I found one earlier, didn't I? Yeah, it's silence that I need. Here I was so convinced it was Ward. Yeah. Silence is the one I need. Which is the big boy here at the end of the tunnel. Let's see, this is a Woodland Mansion. Piglin Bastion, and... Is that all I got left? Those three structures? Indeed it is. I think what I'm going to do... I don't know if I'm going to finish this shop. What I want to try to do, actually, is get all this clutter here, all these boxes and whatever tucked away, and all the boxes over here tucked away. I mean, a lot of this is city building stuff, but I might just put everything back just to clear up because it's like it's finally starting to come together, but then there's just, you know, these heaping piles of unused stuff or unsorted stuff laying around everywhere. So, I think the plan is, it is cleanup time. And I'll come back once, hopefully that's all done, and hopefully I do a little bit of landscaping. Might, Like I said, I might finish this building, might not. I might just focus on getting everything kinda laid out and looking good here. I haven't really taken in the view of the city yet. Another thing I need to do, is it make this is supposed to be like a barge or a yacht sitting in this little bay here but I'm running out of storage in my little simple way I got it set up so we might actually build that out as well but the city is almost starting to look like something not too bad of progress I don't think all things considered but yeah all right I'm just delaying having to go down there and start doing things, so no time like the present. Hello, and welcome back. I have been a busy bee with all sorts of stuff that's really boring to show on camera, but we can show the progress. <laughs> oh yeah, well first things first, as you may see, I now have steps out of my house. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of the uh, 
I've been trying to clean up and get some of the city terraforming done around this place. So I'm starting to lay down some stuff, add some trees. These chests still need to be taken care of. Now I've got this lovely wall for my yard. If I come up here, I still have this rabid chest monster going around here, but that is okay. All right. But the other thing I came back in to show is over here. This structure, I think last episode or the episode before, I kind of laid out an idea. It's like a slime, honey, and amethyst shop. Well, I actually went through and made this sort of weird diamond, or di not diamond, diagonal uh, shop. And it came out all right. Ah, I do get that a lot though when I'm sprinting around here. That screen like glitches. Like you're going super fast. But yep, this side's just all slime balls. When we go up, we've got our slime blocks up here. It's kind of more excess storage and overflow from my slime farm down below. Over here we got the amethyst clusters. And the different sizes. This actually took quite a bit of time. I just sat down there waiting for them to regrow at different levels. I want to say that was like just an hour of sitting there staring at nothing. And a lot of what I've been doing, that has kind of been the case. Just me standing there waiting for like a farm or something like that. And then this side's honey. This We've got our... What's them's called? Yeah, honey blocks, and then here we got the honeycomb block. And we go down. Eh. And we've got honey bottles. Honey bottles. Here, I've actually put all my bean nests somewhere, finally. And then, yeah, the honeycombs. But yeah, just a cool little feature with a kind of unique look to it. And this is all kind of like freeform. Just... <laughs> I basically built up this side with kind of them same block palettes I did initially laid out and then matched it on this side and then just figured out a way to connect them. I think I had to move this building twice to get that to actually connect so it's, you know, right on center here. But yeah, I just built this wall up and I finally have a little deck here coming out the back of my house. And then this area I've cleared out. And like I said, this, yeah, this is what I've been doing a lot of, just kind of cleaning up things. I expanded kind of the yard. If you remember, it used to come like right here, and then like that. It was all open. I haven't like filled in anything under there, but now I kind of have a yard out the back. So my house isn't so limited in what it is, but, but yeah, I've, been, I've just been doing a lot of grindy work. I actually came over here and finally put up like a storage thing specifically just for the different color dyes. Okay, so now as I make them, I can just come over here and ha pop them in these different barrels all color coded. So that be that. And last thing I think is down here, in the storage area, I have moved all this stuff over and put the cracked Tile, uh, deep slate tiles right here so they actually now have a spot here and then this side this is going to be all the different tough variants which I'm not sure how many there are so I've just kind of planned it initially for what is it a six I don't know like chiseled I look I thought I saw at least three so we'll adapt this as we need it but I, I just wanted a spot for tough to have its own little featurette. But yeah, other than that, I've most of what I've been doing has been very, very boring nonsense. A lot of actual resource gathering, like I grabbed a bunch of terracotta, dyed it different colors, cooked it, been going through and getting a bunch of the different wood types to fill out my just basically fill out inventory space with all of it. So yeah, a lot of off camera boring stuff that I've been doing that's it has taken forever. I I must have spent, I don't know, six hours 
just smelting different things and running back and forth while they were smelting to like make sure they didn't overflow because I was using lava, but or you know they didn't stop. Yeah, all that being said, I think I'm gonna bring this episode to a close. I'm not sure how much footage I actually will be able to use from the deep dark. So if it's a shorter episode, it's a shorter episode, which is good because I've been meaning to do some shorter episodes. I just constantly like get in, uh, I, I, I would say I'm not the greatest at editing. I don't know what to really keep and what to cut. So all that being said, I think I shall bring this episode to a close as I always does with some fishings. All right. Uh, th whoa, I can't get the camera right. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I've been Evernoob. Um, like if you like, subscribe if you want. Um, I don't really have a plan for the next episode. I kind of, I, I did release a little kind of like more of a concept idea for a video. Some Minecraft creepy pastas, and it turned out okay. It's not the greatest thing ever. I'm still kind of learning, but I kind of want to also work on that series. In conjunction with this one as long as they don't interfere too much with each other but yeah let me know if you saw that like that um and beyond that i will see you in the next episode whenever that is um catch a fish and we shall say bye bye